With the recent patch, Disco TF has gotten a lot stronger and is now one of the best comps in the game, and in this video, I'll cover everything you need to know about the comp. With this comp, we have 5 core units, which are TF as our main carry, Blitzcrank as our main tank, Nami to give us both Disco and Dazzler, and Gragas is there to be another Disco, and also because we will often play another Spellweaver or a Brewster into our comp. The most common level 8 board looks like this. Here we add in Tarek for another Disco, and we add in Ziggs and Lulu for Hyper Pop, and to give our team more utility with CC and Magic Shred. In other variations, you can add in Sona, Ilawi, Zac, Thresh, or Yorick, depending on what you find. The best headliners to hit with this comp is Disco or Dazzler TF. Both of these work great, and Disco Blitzcrank as the headliner can also work. TF is our main carry, so we prioritize making items for him first. He has one core item, and that is Spear of Sojin. And this is because his mana pool is on the larger side, and Spear of Sojin allows us to cast more often, which is what we need to win fights. His second item wants to be an AP damage item. This can be Archangels, Deathcap, or Jewel Gauntlet. This is simply to increase the damage of his spell. His third item wants to be either an AP damage item, or an attack speed item like Nasher's Tooth or Rageblade. This will further increase his attack speed and allow him to cast more often. After you have made TF items, we want to make items for Blitzcrank. He wants tank items, but the ones on him will be different than other tanks. Here is the tier list of his best items. One thing to note is that Ionic Spark can also be placed on Blitzcrank. However, since Ziggs will shred MR of enemies with a spell, then Ionic Spark might become redundant in the late game. So only place Ionic Spark on him if you slam the item in the early game for power, and you find Blitzcrank in the earlier parts of the late game. With your remaining items, you will place them on Ziggs. Here is a tier list of his best items. With this comp, we want Ziggs to cast more often to shred MR of the enemy team. This is why mana items are the best on him. If you have made items like Ionic Spark and Static Shiv, then you want a nice mix of AP and mana items on Ziggs, as you are not reliant on his shred anymore. If you get a spatula, we don't really have any good options. The only emblem that we can use is True Damage Emblem. It's not great though, as we don't run Echo as our main tank, and the 10% true damage from the emblem is not good enough to replace a damage item on TF. Therefore, ignore the spatula if we get one, and instead, pray you can turn it into a Tactician's Crown. The best portals to pick up for this comp are Wandering Trainers, Treasure Armory, Radiant Blessing, Crab Rave, Support Anvil, Lewd Subscription, Champion Delivery, and Crescendo. The best augments for this comp are Double the Funk, Jeweled Lotus, New Recruit, The Old Razzle Dazzle, Magic Wand, Big Grab Bag, Crash Chest Dummies, Blistering Strikes, Tiny Titans, Harmacist, Little Buddies, Teaming Up, Crown Guarded, You Have My Bow, and Stationary Support. I mentioned a lot of augments there, and the best ones out of those are Double the Funk, Jeweled Lotus, Magic Wand, Crash Test Dummies, Little Buddies, and Stationary Support. If all that info was a lot to take in, then check out the cheat sheet for this comp. It's available for patrons and YouTube members. Here is the Lux cheat sheet from the last set, so you know what to expect for the Disco TF cheat sheet that is available right now. In the early game, you have a couple of options, but the strongest opener has the base of 3 Disco, and then the fourth unit is an AP item holder for TF. The ideal opener is 3 Disco with Bard as the item holder for TF. Here Bard can be replaced by another AP item holder, or he can be replaced by another tank that provides Bruiser or Guardian. Once we have found our comp, we need to make items, and flexible items like Spira Sojin, JG, and tank items are great to make in the early game, as tank items are always useful, and those two AP items are great on the other 4 cost carries, which are Ari and Karthus. You can also slam some items for early game power, like Shiv and Spark, if you have a strong AP carry to benefit from the MR Shred. From here, we want to win streak and push levels if possible, so we can safely reach level 8. And if you want to learn more about how to play the early game, then check out my guide, where I go in-depth on the subject. After the Krex round on stage 3-1, you should have more direction towards a comp, and the general requirements to play Disco TF is to have at least one component for Spira Sojin, and you also want to try to have 3 Disco and or 2 Dazzlers active, as we want to get specific augments for those traits on stage 3-2. If you are weak in the mid game, you can easily roll at level 6 with this comp. This is because we have great 2 and 3 cost item carriers like Bard and Lux that we can play around. Additionally, at level 7, it's harder to hit 4 costs in this set, so it's not as reliable as in previous ones. Therefore, when we can hit great carriers to build our team around at level 6, we choose to do so when we are weak in the mid game. And from there, you should hopefully build a win streak, and you're able to push straight to level 8 during stage 4. 
Once you get to stage 4 1, the late game begins. Here you will need to assess the situation to check if you can go for fast 8 or if you have to roll level 7. The board gets a large power spike at level 8 since we get access to forecast headliners, we also have a higher chance to hit Ziggs, but sometimes you will have to roll at level 7 to not bleed out during stage 4. When rolling at level 7, you want to end up with some variation of this board if you hit Headliner Lux, and some variation of this board if you hit Headliner Bard. Of course we can get lucky and hit the 4 casts we need, but in that case we want to pick up a 3 cast Headliners to run until we get to level 8. In that case, aim for some variation of this board with either Echo or Lulu as the Headliner. Once you've hit level 8, your final board will look something like this. Recall that the core units for this comp are TF, Blitz, Nami, Gragas, and Echo. So the remaining 3 units can be a mix of different champions like Tarek, Lulu, Ziggs, Ilawi, Sona, Thresh, and Yorick. You can also check out this guide in a written format over on Tactor. And if you want to see more of my written guides over there, then check out my profile to see more of the other content I've created on that platform. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want cheat sheets for any of my comp guides, they're available for you to members and patrons, and the links to join those are down in the description. And if you want to get better at TFT, join the Discord. We got over 9,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care and see you in the next video.